along with me as I make keto blackberry pie filling. Alright guys, so I've been diligently cleaning out my freezer and trying to make space for the new gardening season. Right now I've got three bags of blackberries that I picked last year. There are gallon bags each. So I'm going to can those up today. Now here I got a stock pot. It's pretty big. Um, I'm gonna put, I put eight cups of water in here and then I'll show you behind this. I have my water bath canner here. And then we're gonna get our jars ready. Make sure you have clean wash jars. And I like to sterilize them. I like to wash them and then sterilize them in the oven at 250 on a baking sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I just leave them in there until I'm ready to can them up. So give me a minute and I'll be right back. Uh, so I've got my lids and rings um, heating up on a pot here. And we're going to make a slurry. Now this is a keto. Um, we're making keto blackberry pie filling. So what I'm using to make this is anthrone gum. I know I can't pronounce it right, but this will be used as a thickening. So I've got eight cups of water in my pot and I'm going to do three spoonfuls of the gum, three tablespoons. Now, we're just making a slurry, so this will thicken up. This will be used as our thickener. And heat makes it thicken, so that's why I start with this first, the water and the thickener. And then to that, I'll add three tablespoons of stevia. And I'll bring that up to a boil and I'll be back right, with you. Now once your thickener is completely dissolved, we're gonna take two tablespoons of butter and melt that in. Let that melt and I'll bring you back to the next step. All right, now that the butter is melted, we're gonna start adding the berries. going to give this a good stir and we're just heating up the berries we're not trying to cook them we're just trying to evenly coat them and get them hot enough to put in the jar okay now that our blackberry pie filling has came to temperature we're going to start filling jars our clean jars and um in our water bath canner to get more jars in, I go ahead and I lay down a flower sack cloth in there. Some people use tea towels. I'm using flower sack cloth. And that just allows me to get more jars in than it would with a canning rack. So, I'll show you a couple of these. Make sure all your utensils are super clean. And take your funnel. adding your pie filling and I did taste this it is really good and I'll 
I'll just fill it up to the bottom of the spring here. Be careful, it's hot. And if you get too much in, you can take a spoon. And just scoop some back out of there. Now I'm gonna take a paper towel and dip it in some vinegar and wipe the rims off, making sure nothing's on there. If there's anything on there, it will prevent your lids from sealing. So we wanna make sure it's super clean. And I don't think we need to debubble this, but I'll go ahead. Right, and then you get a lid, a warm lid, and a ring. Be careful, it's really hot. And then just finger tight. And then we'll go ahead and put this in the water bath canner. I'm gonna get the rest of these jarred up and I'll be right back. So now I have all my jars filled with my pie filling. Now you want to make sure the water's just a couple inches above the jars. And we're gonna turn this up to medium high. Wait for it to come to a boil. And then we are gonna let it boil for 25 minutes. And then I'll be back with you to show you the end product. All right, guys, so the pie filling is finished and I'm going to pull it out of the water bath canner. Six pints and one half pint. Now I like canning the little half pints every once in a while because we like to use it on either pancakes or waffles or ice cream so it's nice to have a couple little jars and then also the reason I do quarts is I can make large pies if we have guests and the pints if it's just me and my husband then we can make a small pie we're not making an excess amount of it and not wasting it so all right guys well thank you for following me as i made the keto blackberry pie filling i hope you try it and enjoy it and let me know how uh, it turns out if you do try it i'd like to know how you like it and as always keto on